Welcome back to painting and decorating. Now I've just been doing a job where I was using some silk emulsion uh, and I got a lot of comments um, basically saying it, it needs like 10 coats, rubbish paint, horrible to use. Um, since the day I started painting and I first used silk you think oh this is funny stuff. Um, the way it goes on and the way it dries it, it kind of doesn't look right at first but the trick is is to get a very even coat and let it dry you know there's no point in stirring at wet paint going oh it doesn't look right you've got to let it fully dry and then see what you think and um, the thing with silk as well it's a glossy finish full stop and gloss always looks funny when you look at it it's not like um matte when you look at matte you get no reflection back at you so you're getting a, an even look at the color silk is always a bit funny because you get shiny parts so it never looks quite right as such um and the other thing with silk as well it's better for textured surfaces if you've got a flat surface and you want it wipeable possibly you can use silk but you're better off using like eggshell which has just got a lower sheen level um, and is more durable to be fair I mean in the past they would just put silk on certain flat surfaces uh, to help with the protection and wiping down the surface these days you've got scrubbable mats and things like that which are better for a flat surface because um, they don't show up any deviations in the walls and things like that so I've got a little bit of demonstration to do so and I'm going to be using Dulux silk for this Dulux trade silk um, I mean I always recommend get a good quality paint because there's no point in trying to mess about with cheap paint you always find the opacity isn't as good um, and it's more difficult to come off the brush trade paints are a lot easier to use um, especially when you get used to the opacity and the uh, flow of it right let's have a look at this like you were saying that's what I've got it's really good stuff um, and I'm also going to use a bit of matte for comparison on the sheen level and I've got some lining paper here uh, I'm going to roll it on to this part there's a bit of a mark on the paper there so we can use that for um, checking the opacity of the paint at the same time so first off I'm going to stir up my paint and I'm going to roll a section there and brush a little bit there and then use the mat on this side let them dry and then put a second coat on I'm also going to uh, put some silk on this um, it's something I was just messing about with that that's polyfiller so I'll do that I'll put some silk on the top and a bit of matte on the bottom Okay. first one we're going to brush a bit of silk on this side now with silk you really have got to lay it off and not have any uneven lumps of paint otherwise it looks worse um, the thing with painting is if you're going to rush any painting it's going to look bad because this, you know you've got to start off with a mind a good mindset and then you get a nice even coat of your paint because you're watching what you're doing and you're laying off if you rush things it looks rubbish so I'm just using a sponge roller for this and I've loaded this up so you know if you was cutting in and then rolling You always try and get as close to the edge as you can when you're cutting in, uh, when you're rolling after you've cut in. So I'm going to allow that side to dry and I'll do some on here now with the mat. Just before I do the mat, 
I'll actually put some silk on this first. Never easy painting a textured surface, especially something like this. Right, I'll allow that to dry and then I'll give it a second coat. So this colour is blush pink uh, and it's a matte. I'm just gonna, but I'm going to allow them both to dry now for we? Um, what I'm going to do is put some pink on this Right then, I'll let all that dry, second coat it, and then we can have a look. They're both dry now, so time to second coat. See how that's covering really well. On this mat. So you can see there that generally the opacity is quite good. The line's gone on both of them. So we'll let that dry. Um, I'll put another coat on this as well. So I'll do this and then let them dry and then you can have a look. They've dried now. Um, where the line is can see they're both generally covered exactly the same that's matte and that's silk so on opacity it's actually not too bad it's just when you look at them, the, the sheen level it makes it look funny compared to the matte you know 
so it's all the way the eye picks up on the light reflecting that's why matte always looks better and again textured surface you know the sheen can actually see it that much but it just picks up everything a lot better Oh, there you go so if you're having difficulty with your silk generally it's just because you're looking at it too much you just want to get it on even coat and allow it to dry um, and then just accept the fact that it's a shiny surface and it's never going to look um, like a matte surface uniform just on a finishing note <laughs> been sorting out my dad's uh, stuff and I uh, found some playing cards that I had Walpamure Company Limited Darwin London <laughs> nice. Well, I'm going to leave it at that. Hope you enjoyed that video. I'll see you in the next one.